Más la orbe. Con la bodía. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizens list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. This area will be well defended. Fighting me will be your last mistake! Hey! You can't be sure The witness! There you are! That's the guy. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alkibiadis said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alkibiadis. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sofanes. Sofanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? 
A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sofanis betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, uh, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Vion may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. You've returned! Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. It's done. So it is. I'll let Sofanis know what happened. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? A person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder then if bad actions can reverse good or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. Has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. 
Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Hermippos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates, else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermippos should say what he wants? They're only words. Hermippos should be able to say what he wants. No matter what he says. What if he devoted his life to slandering you? Not just in Athens, but throughout the land. Saying what he wants doesn't mean he would escape my spear. Then everything we say has a consequence, even if we are allowed to say it. A an intriguing thought, wouldn't you agree? If you have such an issue with Hermippos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Hermippos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Wherever Hermippos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. Here. I should take a look around. Careful. Don't want to be caught here. Mask from the cult of Cosmos. Hermippus must be a member. Looks 
like Cleon made notes for Ermipos on his play. Everyone's a writer. This is a lot of money for someone like Ermipos. Explains his residence, at least. What is it? I couldn't find Ermipos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Ermipos and the cult, I'd imagine. Ermipos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah. <sighs> Yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. to stay hidden.
Welcome, mis tíos. to see you. Extra careful in this area. Check on them. Hey, what are you doing there? going on. Cosmos fights for Athens, and so Athens fights for Cosmos. 